music producer is the backbone to any type of um, musical project or song or um, anything dealing with um, artists, um, songwriting, they do it all. I have all these sounds. I just go in there and just put whatever sounds good together. It may be a kick, it may be a clap, it may be a sample, it may be something from the virtual instrument library. Whatever it is, I just kind of, I don't have any rhyme or reason or any direction that I'm going in. It's just whatever comes out at that moment. Um, I think a lot of um, a lot of producers and artists are doing that now, um, working from home because you're more self-sufficient. My older mate, maybe two years ago, um, told me that she had um, a, a coworker at work that was a music producer as well, and he has all this crazy equipment and stuff like that. Sometimes I just want to, I guess, I get overwhelmed with the stuff that we do have, so it's kind of like. Uh, maybe I should use it, maybe I don't. Just to have somebody else who understands and has insight and things like that about music that you just come home to and ask, or I can knock on the door like, hey man, I, I, my drums aren't sounding right. You think you can mess with these real quick? And then he's just like, oh yeah, for sure. You know, and with how he is, it'll be three minutes later. The greatest sounding drums of all time. It's like, okay, bro. <laughs> For the longest time, like I never ever wanted to be somebody that was in the forefront. I just wanted kind of to be low key. So I had to figure out like, what does somebody like me do in a live performance? So um, I looked up everything I could find that was comparable to FL Studio, which I use. And then I ran across this um, and I just YouTubed like hell. Once I watched those and found out about the equipment, then I just kind of like, took it upon myself to kind of learn it myself, like I learned the program. This is so funny. <laughs> I don't even know what's what. Okay, that's cool. I, with every particular performance, I don't do the same one twice. So I make new beats every single time. I just make whatever comes to mind. So when I come to like these old files, I'm like, wait, what did I do here? <laughs> I think the biggest struggle that I'm starting to um, get a hold of is saying yes to everything and learning how to say no. Saying no to things um, doesn't necessarily let people down, but it actually lets them know that um, I have enough confidence in myself to say, hey, I don't have the time to do this. I don't have the means to do that. I think the next thing for me, I just have to continue to push myself and push the envelope for myself and um, think of it that I'm not just doing music. It's, it's bigger than that. It could be something with social justice. It could be something with um, activism um, and fighting for the people that don't have a voice. I can use the tools that I have to um, push those people in our, our culture or our country in the right direction. Hey, shout out to Zazelle, man. Can we give a round of applause for Zazelle real quick?